All right, here is an electric dog training collar. So let's check it out. They did send it to me, but I did ask for it. I have dogs, and sometimes these dogs can be problematic. All right, right off the bat, USB-C charger, which I like, and a couple things here, right? I like it, two different colors, white one and black one. I got the black one and you got the white one. All right, maybe they're the same size. All right, on here we have, it's already partially up and charged up. Let's see how we go. A little power button back here. It does look like there's some metal prongs there with the padding on top. So you just press it once, let's see. So they're on. I don't know which one's one and which one's two. So let's just try, it's locked right now. We're on one and then two, three, four. So, oh, they're both same ones, interesting. All right, so we have our noise, a little vibration. That should be the shock. I am not gonna shock myself, but I think you know, this little guy is a tester. I think it should light up if it's shocking. Put our little tester on here. I'm gonna be unhappy if this shocks me. There you go, see it lights up. So definitely it's doing something. I'm not gonna shock myself, but I'm also not barking. So I shouldn't get shocked or I'm not trying to bite anyone. So the dog bone's not a button. There is this little peel off piece and there's USB-C so you can be able to put this back on like my Great Dane slobbers a lot, so that's good. Be able to cover that up and it should keep the water out of there. Now let's look at the remote here. There's a volume button here. So let's go up to level three as high as it goes. I really like that there's a battery indicator here. I'm assuming that's the battery charger indicator for the remote. All right, so there's three levels of volume vibration several different levels let's go up to 16 i guess is the max let's go down to 15. yeah it's still doing it i put that on the microphone and then the shock there's four levels even higher 16 levels of shock as well all right and then the volume i guess controls the last button you press so that makes sense oh it lights them up yeah so like maybe your dog's outside you're trying to find them that's really cool all right i'm very excited about this bad boy i like one remote for both dogs very nice because you know usually if one's being annoying they're both being annoying i also like a remote that very clearly tells me which button's which uh, I've had a couple other, and they're on there, they're just not as clear. I also love the battery indicator because you never know how long these things are going to last. So it's nice to know that. And a little this, a little strap guy for your hand, like that. I want to take the dogs for a walk. I keep these on my wrist like this, so I know I can always get it, but I don't have it in my hand all the time. It's pretty good. Good size. I got a big hand and it fits pretty good. And you can lock it right there. I like that. So let's see the little lock icon. That way you can't accidentally shock the dog. Like if I put it in my pocket or something, I'm not just lighting the dogs up for no reason. That's pretty good. Yeah. I mean, so far, this guy's a winner. You see, you can put the padding, the rubber guy over so that sometimes it'll, like my dog Sadie, the, the metal will irritate her neck. So if I put these over there, I don't know if I can still shock her or not, but I know the vibration will scare her. Her, certainly you know i got a big dog and a little dog oddly enough the little dog is the one that bites but they both can be really annoying sadie's large she's a great dane so she's gonna scare people so i need to be able to get her to calm down quickly something that doesn't require me physically manhandling her so i'm looking forward to it i'm gonna give it a shot i'm gonna try these out for a little bit and uh, we'll give you feedback right i would like to know if i can pair if they're always both the same or if i can switch channels Okay, yeah, it does say you can. I think it, you can change the channel to pair to different dogs. So I like that. That way if I want to, you know, just shock one dog and not the other dog or beep one dog, not the other dog, right? So that's pretty good. Press any key to activate the remote. Turn it off there, all right, and we're on channel one. So I'm gonna change this to channel two. I'm gonna hold this down until this button up top turns red. There we go. Just press it and now hit the vibration button twice. Okay, so it's on channel two. This is channel two, and this should be channel one. So now, this one's vibrating, but this one's not, see? And then if I change it to channel three, neither one of them vibrates. Channel one, this one should vibrate, but not this one, right? So, so this one is, this one's not. All right, so channel one's the black one, two's the white one. That's good. So I can either do both dogs at the same time, or I can do dogs separately and just know which channel I'm on. Just hoping I'll confuse myself and beat the wrong one. But uh, that's good. I like it. Uh, let me get it on the dogs. I'll try them out for a little bit and I'll give you my feedback. She just got her collar and she does not love it. But she hasn't made any noise yet, so there's no need to. But she is a Great Dane, which is, you know, large. So I had to stretch it out as far as it would go. But it still fits. I do have the rubber pieces on. Come here. See, I'm trying to get her to come in. Let's see, she sees this and she doesn't want me to beep her, so she comes running right away. <laughs> Alright, so we got two dogs barking at the mailman. <laughs> well, normally they'd be going crazy right about now. Let's see, I got this guy. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. 
So I know she's still barking, but she's going to her little timeout area, so. And that's not shocking because she has the rubber tips on. So the rubber tips don't really shock very well. But then the irritate her throat. Again, she still barked, but these dogs are monsters, and so that's pretty good for them. Alright, thanks.